All right, brother, we're rolling. Thanks for taking the time today. Um, and uh, yep. good, good to finally hear your voice, man. I want to just say, man, I don't know what it took to step on that scale and make a video like you did there. What was it, a couple days ago or is that today? Yeah, so the first one was April 6th. I came in at 16.86 pounds. And uh, the other one was yesterday, the 15th, and I came in at uh, 609.4 uh, pounds. Now, you say you're a guy that's not that tries to stay off social media. Hey, I, I totally get it. You don't even have yeah. to explain the reasons for that. Um, but what did you have to do to put away that um, feeling to, you know, to do this on Twitter? I mean, this is right before the whole world here. You're on a, you're on a, a quest to lose some weight and I, I would imagine get healthy. What did it take yeah. to have to let go of your, your feelings about social media and, and get active there? So, uh, as far as social media is concerned, I, I just find it to be a very, um, a toxic environment. Mm -hmm. So like you get a lot of people who are, um, you're only going to see their best parts and you, you're either going to see the very, very best or the very, very worst of people. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's not where I live. I like to live in the day to day. I like to be around people. I like to, um, get to know the real somebody. Uh, so like moving past that was kind of difficult, but at the same time, you know, I put myself out there so I could show who the real me is. And, um, you know, there, of course, there's always somebody who's going to be negative. But the um, overwhelming response has been super positive. Uh, and I'm super happy I did it. It's, it's worked out. But, you know, it's one of those things where I'm not checking it all the time. It's like once, twice a day at the, at the very most. Okay. And so have you attempted something like this before? Has this been something that's been working on you? Or did, did you just yeah. reach your point and you made a decision and that's it type of thing? Yeah, so... Uh, my weight's always been a struggle. I've tried to lose a few times and, you know, usually by this point I've just about quit or I'm still quote, you know, air quotes doing it, but not really. Um, so this is the first that I've, I'd say I've gone in a very long time and I have the intentions to keep going. Uh, it didn't really come out of nowhere. You know, I was reading can't hurt me by David Goggins. And if you haven't read that book, it's a fantastic book. And, um, one thing really stuck with me and it was taking souls and that's the aspect of, you know, being the best you and, 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 um, just proving to yourself and to other people that you can do whatever you want to do, whatever you set your mind to. And I just decided, you know, it was time to take the soul and, uh, to lose this weight. And I saw Vance who lost 198 pounds in a year. I saw Jared who lost 303 pounds in 15 months. There's so many people out there, so many examples. I just decided something clicked and I was like, maybe I can be an example too. Cause I've been there. I don't want anyone else. I don't want anyone else I can help affect to be the size that I am ever. It's horrible. Mm. Now, do you, what are, what are your vices? I mean, you, you don't, yeah. get, you, you must have to be dealing with not only, you know, changing Well, you must be having to change everything. So what are normally your vices? So, uh, the the big thing for me is uh, it's just sort of a binge eating is how I've gotten to where I am. I don't drink very much. I don't smoke. Um, there's no drug use. It's it's very. Um, it, it's sort of it, it progressed over time. So it started very slow with one or two times a week I'd eat out with like fast food or or get uh, takeout or delivery and it it started progressing very rapidly um, over the last five years or so and to the point where. If you look at the end of last year, I was eating out or eating in rather because uh, I'd bring it home to eat it at home in shame uh, four times a day. So about, you know, 25 times a week I was I was, you know, going to a, um, some type of takeout restaurant to bring something home. So. And are your were your eating habits like extraordinary as well? Like, are you eating oh, yeah. mass am amounts of food at those sittings too, like more than most people? Because, I mean, I, I, I appreciate your time and I'm, I'm trying to understand it, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, for us that don't struggle with weight problems, you, you look around you and you're like, geez, like, how does that, how do you get to, hey, I get it, we all have struggles and stuff like that, but uh, some of these people claim to not have to eat anything to be able to maintain a frame of that size mm -hmm. you know they're lying dude yeah okay all those people are full of shit <laughs> okay they're all full of shit all right. i when i went to a restaurant i ordered for three two to three people every time i went out i ordered for two or three people and if somebody asked about it every now and again somebody would ask because you know i'm alone in my car in a drive-thru 
ordering enough food to feed, uh, you know, a small village. And, you know, it's like, what are you doing? Oh, I've got, I've got friends at the house. Yeah, that's going to hold up. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just, it, everything was an excess. The, you know, I knew it was big portions. I knew it was not normal. Um, and I don't, I never did it around friends. Like most of my friends had no idea that, uh-huh. you know, I would eat in those portion sizes. It was something I did, you know, hidden and, and behind, you know, a computer screen that nobody could see me do it. Um, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I've, t- I've talked to a few therapists about it and mm-hmm. it wasn't a coping mechanism, but it was something that I just sort of, it became an addiction really. Mm. So it's interesting. And so how's your mental health now? Like uh, how, how obviously you're going to need support going through this. And I want to talk to about, you know, the, the support, the social media is given you already and probably be along there for the ride. But, uh, mm-hmm. how, you know, how, how are you treating yourself now as far as getting some help? Yeah, so I've been um, I've been seeing a, a therapist regularly since the beginning of this year, and we've been slowly working some things and and going through my my childhood and my life and and you know just day to day and and um, you know it's one of those situations where I look and I see other people in the waiting room and and you know some of the issues I, I you know they'll they'll talk about their issues and they seem so much worse than what I've got going on. And sometimes I feel guilty about that because my only problem is I can't put down the fork. You know, some of these people have real issues and, um, you know, it's just, it, it, at times it hurts, but at the, at the same time, you know, I realize it's a legitimate issue. I realize there's a lot of people who struggle with it and, um, it's something I'm working through and it's something I go once a week to, um, to confront and, and, um, just try and get healthier both mentally and, and physically. Yeah, well, it sounds like your head's in a good place, and I, I appreciate this distinction about you know between the way you see yourself and and other people. Um, what what come? Hey, we're all addicts. Do you consider yourself an addict? Yeah, I'd say I'm okay. a fast food junkie. Okay, uh, and we're all addicts to some you know whether it be coffee or sugar or sex or porn or like. Hey, we've all got our fixes, mm-hmm. and uh, and I think we've all tried to be better people and, and kind of quit the things that we know we should quit and start doing the things that we know we should start doing. Um, and Hey, I know all about that. So I wonder what your, your headspace is like when it, when you're facing it down and you're like, okay, I'm just like, yes or no. Am I going to stay with it? Or am I going to, am I going to quit right now? <laughs> what kind of conversation yeah. you have and when you come up against that? So, I actually today, you know, there's been so much support today on Twitter, but even today I still felt it like, okay, I'm driving home from work Mm. and do I want to stop and get something? Well, at the same time, there's this, there's this like, it's like the, (laughs) those cartoons where you got an angel on one shoulder and a devil on another. Absolutely. And that devil's never going to go away. And I recognize that Mm -hmm. it's, it's only going to get quieter and quieter as time passes, but it will never go away. And, um, that's something I've accepted and I'm pretty determined. I'm, I'm a hundred percent certain that success is here, that I am, um, I am working towards the embodiment of success, uh, as far as this weight loss is concerned. And my, my primary goal, um, is to lose weight, but, but very, very close second is I want to help others who might not know what to do or might not, um, want to start trying. I want, I want to help get those people across the line. Because I was there for four years, and it sucks. Oh, yeah, for sure. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. So just the last five years, you've been uh, having an issue with it, you say? Yeah, so uh, around 16, I moved across the country uh, from Texas to South Carolina. And um, I left my folks. They were back in Texas and moved in with my, with my mom's aunt and uncle. And I started playing ball out in South Carolina. And, um, you know, I was living kind of alone, but not fully alone. And I had some discretionary spending money. And all of a sudden, this habit started popping up where I was eating out. And I enjoyed eating out. And mm-hmm. it was like, because as a kid, we grew up kind of in the lower middle class. And we didn't get these treats that I saw them at a time at the time as treats. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was, you know, I'd, I'd get them for myself. But... Um, you know, like I told you earlier, it just progressed and progressed. And 
eventually it got to this point of an addiction where it was just completely obscene. So, hmm. and so I said, I don't know how I got attracted to you. Maybe it was through DDP. I'm not sure, but what, tell me about your relationship with Diamond Dallas Page. And hey, man, if there's a guy you want in your corner, I watched. Uh, I didn't know who Diamond Dallas Page. He came into wrestling a little bit after I was into it as a kid. And uh, I watched the resurrection of Jake the Snake, and great, great. I, oh, great well, just so inspiring that two men could have such a bond and so much love and patience. Man, the guy's got to be patient as anything. Lots of patience for the shit he put up with with the cocaine and, and mostly the alcohol. I think it was with Snake because that well that led to everything else. But he was not easy, and they lived together for what eight months or a year. Or it was amazing. a very, very long time. Yeah. So how did that connection? How did you? Did you kind of trip over him? How, how can I, like I tripped over you and how's that been? Yeah. So, um, I was first introduced to Dallas as DDP, um, through a guy named Boogie uh, on YouTube and, uh, Boogie was a big guy, 550 plus pounds. Um, Dallas came into his house and they did some, a little bit of yoga for a weekend and Dallas introduced him to healthy eating um, but Boogie didn't stick with it at the time. That was about four or five years ago, right when all this started happening. And I just, you know, so you can get some context around that time. I was sitting at three thirty to three fifty ish. Uh, so I was already a really overweight person. Um, when I, when I started this, you know, journey of eating a lot. And, um, so I came across him about four years ago and about a year later, I, I watched a uh, Boogie react to, um, Something called uh, I can't quite remember what the uh, what the the motivational video is called, but it's it's about a guy named Jared who loses 303 pounds in 15 months, and it brought him to tears. It brought me to tears. There were people putting up thousands of dollars saying, "Boogie, if you do it, I'll give you this much money." Like you know, people trying to change this man's life, and you know, everyone this Jared guy did it through Diamond Dallas Page's program, DDP Yoga. And, uh, so like a seed was planted right then. Like I, I knew like, Hey, there's somebody who's been my size. who lost 300 pounds doing DDP's program, but I wasn't ready yet. So about, I don't know, a, two years later, um, last year, early last year, I, I accidentally ran across this program being advertised and I bought it for a year, but, um, I wasn't ready to start. And so I didn't start. I did it about one time, maybe twice. And and, and didn't do it again and um, ended up wasting a lot of money buying a year's worth of this program. And, uh, you know, another year passes and we're into March of this year. And uh, Vance's story where Vance lost 198 pounds in 12 months comes out and I see it and I find it and I react to it on Twitter. And, you know, it, it, it brought me to tears because it I was at this I'm at this point where like I'm ready, but I'm scared to death to do it. But now's the time, you know what I mean? And, and um, so Vance did his journey through Diamond Dallas Page and the DDP Yoga. So I reached out. I, 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 I reached out to Vance on Twitter. I reached out to Dallas on Twitter. I, I you know, put that video up April 6th of myself you know, in, my, in my underwear. And, and um, just a couple of days later, Dallas called me and, and uh, wanted me to know he was backing me. And uh, wanted me to watch some videos about eating organic and and just you know making that lifestyle change. So it's it's just sort of been a bunch of seeds planted over the years. And um, it's 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 he's a great guy, and I look forward to working with him and following this program um, for a very long time. Good for you, man. Tell us about the social media love. How is it that you can? I, hey, I get it because I know what the haters feel like when when you take their arrows. But uh, how, is, how does it feel to have so many strangers that, hey, we're connecting right now. You know what I mean? We're sharing a, a human moment here uh, that we wouldn't be if you hadn't have stepped up. So how, uh, how do you find that level of support? And, you know, do you think this is, this is what one of the factors that will, you know, push you over and keep you, keep you strong throughout it? Yeah. So like I mentioned earlier, not a fan of social media. Um, not because of the, the super positives and the super negatives, but just because I, I, I see it as such a time sink. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a lot I want to do with my life. Even though I've, you know, squandered certain parts away, such as my health, 
Um, I've got huge dreams, and I just don't have time to waste with you know worrying about what somebody said on Facebook. Gotcha. Um, but putting myself out there on Twitter, and you know having you know uh, friends and, and 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 relatives be able to see it and it be public, and mm. you know if my boss stumbles across it, he'll be able to see it. Like it's completely public; it's not hidden from anybody. Right. Um, there's sort of an accountability factor. Right. For and sure. um, you know it's like the. You know, you can think about your goals, but they don't mean much if you don't write them down, if you don't ink it. And uh, for me, this was inking my goals. It was it was putting myself out there and letting myself be vulnerable for anybody to see. And, you know, as of the last 24 hours, 285,000 people have seen it. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, 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 there's a lot of feelings there. You know, I don't like being vulnerable, but at the no. same time, I've had several people reach out who are like, Hey, I'm in a similar spot to you. And if you're going to do it, I'm going to do it. And that right there, that to me means the most, you know, that to me, I'm going to keep going because if, if I'm doing it, they'll keep doing it. If they're doing it, I'm going to keep doing it. It's a support system and it's fantastic. Hayden Manning is a 21 year old man. Where are you living, Hayden? Uh, I'm in North Dallas, Texas. Six, seven, over 600 pounds. Your goal is to lose 400 of them. You're, yep. what, a week into, well, how far into this are you? Yeah, so today's day 10. Day 10. Um, wow, congratulations, so yeah. man. Thank you. You say you're not a guy that, hey, who wants to make themselves feel vulnerable? Uh, there is something very sexy about being vulnerable, I'm told. I don't, I, I know, because I recognize it, especially in other men. And we see it sometimes in the men's group. Some guy just lets loose, and, and mm -hmm. it's, it's a beautiful moment. I yep. cannot imagine getting on that scale, like you said, in your skivs getting on the scale at your size and actually saying the words like uh, I'm doing this like so yeah good for you man that had to take a huge huge leap for someone that's not on social media and uh, I guess it just speaks to your level of commitment I guess yeah it's it's um I remember my mom my mom goes well you can't let them down now you can't take it <laughs> back baby <laughs> yeah it's out there somebody somebody print screened it somebody's got a picture of you in your drawers yeah. so you might as well go through with it <laughs> and you want the next picture in your drawers or you know the, the final picture in your drawers to be one that uh, well i can't imagine losing two-thirds of your body weight but that's wow yeah yeah, it's going to be something amazing. So you're not, yeah, for sure. You're not a guy that goes to the, oh, I'm big boned. I got a thyroid problem. I, you know, yeah. all these stories that we hear. And, you know, for for people that don't have weight issues, we're like, uh, get off the fucking couch and put down the fork. There's, it's not much of a secret. Yeah. So I've never been that type of person. My mom has said, you know, well, we've got some Welsh background in us. <laughs> They do have some denser bones. And I, was like, I don't know about that one. And it's just something I never bought into. And right. then there was that whole, uh, what was it called, movement? Um, the healthy at any size, and that shit's bullshit. Oh, uh, really? I, I don't know if I can swear. I'm sorry. No, no, uh, you're good to go. Uh, um, really? And that's the, well, no, uh, probably about no body shaming, right? You're, uh, everything is perfect all the time. Is that it? it? Yeah. It's not. Right. I'm not healthy. <laughs> Nothing about me is healthy right now. You know, no. I mean, I, I don't have diabetes. My A1C is fine. That's just about the only thing about me that's healthy. <laughs> so, wow. you know, I mean, my blood pressure is high. My cholesterol is high. My uh, just about everything's a little high. Mm -hmm. And in my BMI is obscene. It's like 69.5. You know, there's nothing healthy about that. Uh, and how anyone could possibly see it as a healthy thing is silly. I'm, I'm not... Um, you know, I, I think I think the message they tried to go with with that movement of, you know, we're healthy at any size was silly. I think it should be, you know, you can be happy at any size. Yeah. But you, you're not healthy at any size. No. No way. So. Yeah. Happy, healthy and contentment, I guess, are uh, different things altogether. So. Absolutely. How do, if you plan this out, how long do you think it's going to take you? Or do you have any? So, yeah, I'm a. I'm a software engineer by trade, and right. um, so I, I the first thing I did was <laughs> the calculations. Write a little bit of formula and did the calculations. Um, it, it, if awesome. I if I do it perfectly, I'm looking at about a year and nine months. Wow! If I stumble a bit, which I expect I will, I'm looking at a little over two years, uh, maybe two and a half years. Wow. Um, somewhere in there, there will be a skin removal surgery, um, which, if I've done the math correctly, we're looking at about. 24 pounds of excess skin 
<laughs> um, so yeah, it's it'll be fun. Wow. And uh, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, man. So I'm doing uh, DDP yoga. I'm doing it right now four times a week. I'm going to up it to six times a week because it's so um, it's so easy on my knees and stuff. Like there's no it's no it's not heavy impact and it's something that gets the heart rate up and going. And it, to be honest, I quite enjoy it. Um, so I'm doing DDP yoga to get some exercise. In. And many people on Twitter were telling me, don't exercise. It doesn't make sense yet. I disagree. I mean, it gets me it gets me feeling good about myself. And mm-hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm doing some DDP yoga. I went walking with with Vance, the guy who lost 200 pounds in a year the other day. And I'm going to try and get down and walk with him, you know, once a month, twice a month and get connected with some others in the other north, you know, the north Dallas area. Um, but really, I'm eating I'm eating low carb, um, sort of like a keto diet. Uh, but um, I'm trying to balance it out so it's not just super high fats. I'm trying to make sure I, you know, consume enough protein so I don't lose muscle as I'm as I'm losing weight. Right. Are you counting calories? So. Yeah. So I'm trying to. My doctor approved uh, between 1,400 and 1,500 calories as a healthy weight loss amount. What? Um, it's an insanely low amount in my book, yeah. uh, but I'm sticking to it. It's been working for me. Wow. And, um, you know, I'm going to be checking in with her once a month. How's the hunger? Honestly, when you're eating primarily chicken, broccoli, and eggs, I'm not hungry. I go to bed satiated. I wake up satiated. I don't eat breakfast most days because I'm just full. Are you doing uh, an intermittent fasting? Yeah, so I'm trying to eat around uh, a window of 1 p.m. to about 7-ish. Okay. Um, so that's that's like a 6, 18 intermittent fastings right there but okay. um, yeah it's working out i'm liking it and so are you are you eating till you're full now yeah so i've i i'm going through quite a bit of chicken in a day about a pound pound and a half of chicken a day um and it's like the lean chicken breast and i'm pairing that with um some extra fats and some broccoli and and um going to be introducing some other vegetables uh this week i gotta get over to the market um uh, yeah, it's just you know I'm trying to I'm trying to find what works for me, especially with those calorie allotment, oh, allotments. Yeah, right. But I'm trying to make sure that I'm always satiated. There's no reason to be um, always hungry while you're losing weight. I think that's a myth. Um, I think you can be full, um, mm-hmm. and I think I think you can do it healthily under certain calorie allotments, and that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I'm trying to prove. Did you experience the keto flu at all? Are you in ketosis? Uh, yeah, do you think? so yeah. yeah, I felt it a little bit this weekend. While my body switched from um, being supported off of carbohydrates to my own body's fat and the fats that I intake. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was feeling a little down this weekend, a um, little ill, but I uh, decided mm. to push through it. Um, I've, I've tried before con- the carnivore diet. And yeah, I was just going to ask you if you've seen uh, K- Michaela Peterson's. She's doing some videos out there for that. Yeah. Ka- yes. Yeah, so I tried that. Um, I got super ill about three or four days in. I, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was bad meat. I'm not sure, um, but I'm sort of, I'm sort of pushed away from that <laughs> for now. Um, but yeah, everyone's different, I guess. Eh? So that's uh, yeah. I mean, I I, uh, I I don't know. I got a soft spot for you. You know, I for the first time tried. You know, I tried to lose 20 pounds, and I'm 225, 230 pounds or something like that. Like you, I want to be down closer to 200. My pants aren't fitting right, and you know, yep. the energy levels and whatnot. And I, I took a couple, I don't have a burning desire because, you know, I don't like when I look in the mirror, I don't, I don't hate how I look. So that's a problem too, I guess. Cause you're like, oh, well, well, that's fine. Um, yep. but, uh, in my keto journey, it was, I wasn't expecting the flu. I had four, four nights of bed sweats. I had four days of my, not migraine, but low level migraine that would just wouldn't go away. Yeah. And, um, and the, the the night sweats were like nothing that's ever come out of my body before. I don't sweat like that, but it was just it was just gross. And my and, you know, I have a friend of mine, thank God, that was in the background going, "Stay with it, Jimmy. Stay with it, Jimmy." And she was she had been through it, and she said, "You know what? There's a there's a win on the other side for you." But I was always hungry, and I always had nuts in my hand, and and probably the nuts threw me. I wasn't in keto all the time. I was kind of trace or in the middle. I wasn't fully purple, mm. and. Um, I just found myself, I was, you know, just craving it so much. And then, you know, five, 
six weeks in, I'm like, eh, I had a beer, you know, like, can't, yeah. uh, but, uh, that's good that you're not drinking. You don't have to worry about that. It's good that your mental health is, is stable and you only, you know, you have few dragons to slay, fewer dragons to slay, I suppose. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm really proud of you, man. So what, what's Thank your, you. yeah, you're welcome. Uh, what's your, what's your, uh, position on helping other people out? So my mindset is anybody that can be helped and that's willing to accept help, I want to help. You know, I don't, I, I've not lost this way yet. I'm clearly not an expert. I'm finding this out for the first time for myself. And, and, um, you know, I've got, I've got mentors and people who have gone ahead of me that I'm sort of following and taking their advice from. Of course, you know, DDP is, is a great mentor and, and I, um, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm able to, to sort of work with him, uh, on this journey. And, um, you know, anybody who's looking, anybody who's sitting there and, 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 and might not have started yet, but wants to start, no matter how much you want to lose, whether it's 400 or 40, you know, you need to look into DDP yoga. There's an eating plan. There's a, there's fitness, there's, you know, your back's broken, you know, that's, that's where you need to look. If you, if you've not heard of Arthur Borman, yeah. you got to look him up. That was a he great got, video, man. The guy that was a great so video. sweet. Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to feel for a guy that's got that kind of resolve. And, um, you and, know, the best part is he did it in less than a year. He went from walking on crutches to running in less than a year. <laughs> Yeah, and you know it was awesome to see him falling down all over the place when he was first trying it out. And man, I give you a lot of credit, man, because uh, yeah, I just haven't. You know, sometimes you think you've come, you've you've moved into I don't give a fuck town, and mm -hmm. and you and you can live there. But you know, at least for me, it just keeps coming back, right? And I I think that. Uh, it's so cool to put yourself completely out there with all your convictions, with all your goals and say, Hey, hold me to it because you know, it's too easy to lie to yourself and it's too easy. Oh, when yeah. It's just you and that chocolate bar and you're, you know, or for me, whatever the addiction is. And I'm like, ah, I could just quit tomorrow again. I can just start again. It won't be a big deal. You yeah. know, it's that devil on your shoulder that it's you say, stumbles. yeah. Yeah, so I guess you fully expect to stumble? Uh, absolutely. You don't get through any journey without stumbling, no matter how, <laughs> how, how strong your resolve is. I fully expect a stumble to come sooner or later, but I've got the, um, I've got the resolve, I've got the tenacity, I've got the uh, persistence and, and, and dedication and motivation and you to, know, to push through it. And what else you don't have is you don't have to worry about getting drunk and killing a pizza and a, and a couple pounds of chicken wings either because, I mean, for me... Like that's when the shit hits the fan because you're the devil is suddenly the size of Samson, you know, he's, he's yeah. weighing you down and he's, and, and, uh, yeah, I'm very negotiable when I'm drinking <laughs> and that's when I found my willpower. Yeah. Everyone makes mistakes when they're drinking their willpower and their, everything's at a, at a record low. So yeah, you don't yeah. have that to worry about. So bank on that, at least you're, you're strong willed that way. As far as, uh, your mind is sober all the time. You don't have to worry about the, the tricks that the, the drunken or the the intoxicated yeah. mind will play on you. That's awesome, man. Definitely. Yeah, and yeah. It's, that's super helpful. Um, you know, I was I was talking to somebody who had just started keto and and you even mentioned it. Um he was he had to quit drinking mm -hmm. as he was starting keto. And mm -hmm. for some people making that drastic change of just the diet is super hard. But yeah. for him, you know, I was talking with him, he said he just couldn't do it. You know, he couldn't quit drinking and change the diet. It's just wow. too much change at once. Really? Yeah. Um so you know it, it's just, it's a mindset, you know, I, I decided on the sixth that I'm not going to be, um, as I saw myself a failure anymore wow. and, um, I'm making the change. I'm doing it. Awesome, man. Well, I really appreciate your time checking in and the accessibility. Uh, I'll give you some love Absolutely. on social media. Once I get this video up, I, I'd be pleased if you tweet it out and, uh, yeah, I'm sure. on, I'm in your corner as far as helping people out, man. That is very, very big of you. And, uh, and awesome. uh, yeah, in closing, you got anything contact information you want to hang out there for the peeps that want to get a hold of you? Yeah, absolutely. So the the only place on the internet I can really be contacted <laughs> is on Twitter okay. at Going Crimson. Um, I, I tend to tweet there, and and uh, I tend to tweet with people who tweet at me, and I'll okay. interact with you right. a few times a day. So uh, cool, if you want to reach out, if you have any questions whatsoever, I can. You know, if I don't have the answer, I'll find somebody who does. So. 
If yeah. you need anything, just let me know. Awesome, man. I appreciate your time, and I, I ex fully expect next time I talk to you, you'll have a lot more followers than you got now on that little Twitter machine there. So, Oh, uh, absolutely. Hayden, I appreciate your time. Oh, and I heard somebody comparing you to Mannings. You're not related, right? No. <laughs> okay, good, because I'm an yeah. Eagles fan, man. We can't have yeah, you uh, being related yeah, to I don't know who did assholes. that. No, we're not, <laughs> not related. <laughs> All right, brother. I will stay in touch. Good luck, man. And if there's anything uh, I can ever do to help you out, uh, let me know, whatever that is. And uh, I appreciate the time today. Awesome. Thank you very All much, right, Jim. You have a great day. <laughs> you too, man. Cheers. Bye. Need Manning if you need him. Awesome. Um, I don't actually know how to leave. I don't know how to leave either. <laughs> Where's the? Oh, there it is. Oh, All goodbye. Right, you have, you have <laughs>